the things that's very unique to traditional Chinese medicine is the sophisticated use of herbs like cinnamon bark combined with five, 10, or even 15 other herbs that all work together or even offset one another to treat an acute or a chronic disease. Now in this video, I thought I would share a bit about the formula science that exists in Chinese medicine. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. Now before we jump into this video, there are two very important links right below. The first is if you'd like to become a patient of mine locally in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine. And the second is for a free guide, which is four daily rituals that could potentially help you add years to your life with Chinese medicine. Many people are familiar with herbs and spices in general on a daily basis, right? Like ginger. Ginger is commonly used all over the world for cooking and as just a general culinary spice. And even maybe if you're getting a little nauseous, your mom will say, cook up some strong ginger tea and then drink that. But just these little anecdotes pale in comparison to the sophistication of the formulas that exist within Chinese medicine. Consider the fact that 2,000 years ago almost, a book called the Shang Han Lun was describing the sophisticated use of 200 some odd formulas ranging from acute panic attacks to severe flus and viral epidemics all the way to chronic diseases. And those formulas still work to this day. I still use them day in, day out clinically in my practice and they work just as predictably as any other medication. The fact that those exist almost 2,000 years later is staggering and it points to really how long this ancestral record of Chinese medical knowledge must have been passed down. I mean, for formulas to be in that sophisticated of a layout with that clear of a clinical pattern a few hundred years after Christ, very likely they'd been developed thousands, maybe even longer before the time they were actually written down and put into texts. But before then they were just passed down through the oral transmission. So the formula science in Chinese medicine is very distinct and very unique. It's not something that you commonly see in the modern world, even among herbalists, only because there are a few different ways that Chinese medicine uses formulas versus let's say traditional Western herbalism. You know, to compare versus many kinds of Western herbs that I see other natural medicine or uh, functional doctors provide, very often herbs in that sense are provided in a more biochemical way, as in this herb is a sedative, you know, like the classic sleep or anxiety blends with passion flower, valerian, and magnesium. Very often are in the, okay, this herb's a sedative, magnesium can help with anxiety, et cetera, et cetera. And there seems to be not quite as much of a focus on the alchemical stability of the formula. So let me explain. When we use an herb like cinnamon twig, right? This is cinnamon bark, rogue or cinnamon twig, when we use these, they're not just used as single herbs. I mean, one of the smallest formulas in that ancient text I just discovered, a formula called Guizhi Gansao Tang, is cinnamon twig, a very high dose of it, 12 grams, and Gansao, honey fried licorice. Now, this formula is basically used for acute panic attacks and acute anxiety, right? So it describes the person coming in and the, the patient pushes their hands over their heart as if they feel like they're about to die. And you're taking 12 grams of this prepared cinnamon twig, and I think about six of the honey fried licorice, drinking it all in one serving. That is just two herbs. But that text by itself is very minimalist in the number of herbs it uses in the formulas. On average between, let's say, four to eight would be an average number. But these herbs have synergistic effects. For example, using honey fried licorice will temper some of the spiciness and some of the stimulant qualities in the cinnamon twig. Or if you're using a formula that's very drying, like in another video we discussed using baiju for people who have a lot of bloating and a lot of abdominal fullness, fluid retention. Well, baiju, if you taste it, it immediately dries out your tongue. It sucks the moisture off your tongue. And when you prepare it as a traditional decoction, this baiju, you can feel the dryness on your tongue. It immediately dries out your mouth. So baiju is very drying. And if you just use baiju and fooling, then you're gonna be causing a lot of drying sort of effects. But now if you add in honey fried licorice, right? This has a little bit of a moistening quality to it and it's a yin generating herb, right? So in the same vein, one of the formulas we're gonna discuss here, Guizhi Tang is one of the famous formulas of Chinese medicine. Two of the herbs that we have 
that are synergistic pairs are Guajir, the cinnamon twig, and the other one is Baishao, which is peony. So this is Baishao. And these are very commonly paired together in varying ratios, and I want to discuss why to give a little lesson on alchemical stability. So let me give you an example of how sophisticated this formula science is. So you may have, let's say, four or five herbs in a formula, but one base formula is just called Guajir Tang, right? Cinnamon twig decoction. Now, cinnamon twig decoction, most commonly used for, let's just say, an acute cold. It's a massive generalization, but just for layman's purposes, acute cold. Now, there's a formula where you have that same formula, and all you do is remove this herb. You still have the other herbs, and it's called Guajir Chu Xiao Yao Tang, Guajir minus Bai Xiao. And what this herb is, this new formula is for, minus one herb, is for uh, palpitations, heart rate variability, tachycardia, anxiety, and panic attacks. By removing one herb, you can create a more interior effect to work on the heart directly. Guajir by itself can already regulate heart rhythm, stop chest pain, things like that. But Guajir Chu Xiao Yao Tang, removing Xiao Yao, but just one herb, will then produce a different formula that has a different emphasis and focus which is unbelievable. Now on the other side, there's a formula called Guajir Jia Xiao Yao Tang, where instead of removing the Bai Xiao, you double the dosage. Now Guajir Jia Xiao Yao Tang, now you have twice as much of this herb Bai Xiao, and what it's used for typically is uh, for abdominal fullness. Often a formula for abdominal fullness, bloating, can be used for dry skin, uh, all kinds of purposes. And a very similar formula is called Xiao Jian Zhong Tang, regulate the middle, minor build the middle decoction. And that's used for when people are having like a night sweats and thirst and um, heat in the palms and the hands of the feet and uh, light and fragmented sleep. So you can have standard dose of this one herb, remove the herb or double the herb, all looks like the same general formula, totally different effects. So there is a very unique alchemy to Chinese formulas that I have not seen elsewhere in the world of herbalism. And maybe it exists, but I've certainly never been humbled like I have with these ancient formulas. And the fact that they still work 2,000 years later is the greatest testament that these are the tried and true formulas of a really, really ancient medicine. So that's a relatively long-winded look at one formula and how Chinese formulas are worked and designed to work synergistically for a maximal effect. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. See you later. Check out the downloads below this video, and I'll see you soon.